You are tuned into the new home for IE Sportsnet every Saturday morning at 8 a.m. with Coach B. Andy Turner, when it comes to Inland Empire Sports, the conversation starts and stops here. On Fox Sports Radio, 1350 a.m., IE Sportsnet every Saturday morning, 8 a.m. Where the pros talk sports in Riverside and San Bernardino. Fox Sports 1350. KTDD San Bernardino. An iHeart Radio station. And we are in. This is one of my favorite days, one of my favorite shows, because it is all about me. It is all about Coach B. I told Eddie, uh, Eternal, I said, go ahead and take a day off. We don't need you today. No need. To- no, no, I'm kidding. Eternal will be calling in soon on the one and only secret hotline. This is Coach B right here with IE Sports and on Fox Sports Radio 1350 AM. You know when it comes to Inland Empire Sports, the conversation starts and stops right here. Like I said, my one and only coach, coach, or co- co-host, I can't even say that. I'm so excited. My co-host, the one and only Eternal, will be giving me a call in pretty soon. Last night. Eternal and I, we were out at the game. No, you know, I can't say the game of the week. I'll say the spotlight game because we got some flack and we call games game of the week. Everyone thought their game should be the game of the week. So what we did is we said we're going to call this the spotlight game. So last night, crazy, crazy game. People out there in the Inland Empire, we were at the Riverside King versus Riverside Poly game. First of all, when I get there, I got there at about 645. It took me about a good 20 minutes to find somewhere to park. And I was like, this is absolute craziness. So it took me about 20 minutes to park. So when I got there, the game, we were there almost to midnight. The game ran from, uh, it went into double overtime. King finally took the win, 45-38. So it was one incredible game. But what we'll do, let me go ahead and break. I'm still waiting for the one and only Eternal to call in. We're going to talk about the top 10, um, the IE Sportsnet top 10 here on IE Sportsnet on Fox Sports Radio 1350 AM. Number five for our top 20 scores. Number five was Rancho Cucamonga. They beat Marietta Valley 34-28. Number four on our top 10, excuse me, on our top 20, Vista Mary. Etta beat Lakewood 43 to 7. Redlands East Valley, they had a little tough game last night, but they pulled it out. Redlands East Valley, which is number three in our top 20, they went ahead and beat Rancho Verde 38 34. Norco took their first loss of the season. I know that's a little rough for them. They lost to Mission Viejo 53 to 21. It sounds like that was a shootout. So once again, we're recapping the scores. To get all the scores, go ahead and log on to iesportsnet.com, and we'll make sure you get all the scores. They're right there in the upper right corner of the uh, the website. And last night, the big dog, the big dog of the IE of Southern California, of the nation, Corona Centennial, what they did last night to Notre Dame, uh, Sherman Oaks, it just wasn't right. They beat them down 52 to 0. We got a text last night. It's funny. We got a text last night during the game. I think they were up 49 to 0 at halftime. So it sounds like Matt Logan went ahead and called the dogs off. And uh, it, it was a rough game. So today on IE Sportsnet, we're still seeing if Eternal's going to call in. No, no calls yet. It's okay. We're going to have a great show. We're going to have Paloma Valley uh, head coach calling in. We're going to have the kids from Corona calling in. And once again, I love this when Eddie's out or Eternal's out. We have the one and only Miss Michelle Gardner from the Daily Bulletin and the Sun. She'll be sitting in with us today to give us a little recap and her thoughts on everything that is San Bernardino County and San Bernardino County football. So it should be a really, really good show. I'm going to try my best to make sure that we do a great, high-quality show for you today. So that's pretty much all I got. Once again, if you want to get all the information, you want to get all the scores on IE football, make sure you go to iesportsnet.com. In the upper right corner, we have all the scores to all the games right there. They're updating. They're posting. So that's where you get all your good information. And you know what? I think I'm going to go ahead and take me a quick commercial break because, you know, that's what we do here at IE Sportsnet. So once again, you're listening to Coach B here on IE Sportsnet right on Fox Sports Radio 1350 AM where this is where, uh, my goodness, I am so off today. When it comes to Inland Empire Sports, the conversation starts and stops here. When we get back, we'll have the one and only Miss Michelle Gardner from the Daily Bulletin sitting in. Let's do this. 
What's up? This is TJ Ward from the Denver Broncos. You're now tuning to Iron Sports. The Inland Empire Sports Authority. Data knows you post selfies like they're going out of style. Data knows you've got no selfie control. Lucky for you, for just $35 a month, you can get unlimited talk, text, and more data than ever. So keep snapping and sharing. Boost Mobile cut the price and crank the data. So stop spending a ton of money on a little data and start getting more data for less. Come to Boost Mobile and come to data. Visit your nearest Boost Mobile store or boostmobile.com for details. $35 plan includes one gigabyte a month of high-speed data, video streaming limited to 3G speeds. After applicable data allotment reached, data speeds including video reduced to 2G speeds for remainder of plan cycle. International services extra. Offer and Coverage not available everywhere and subject to change. State and local sales taxes slash fees may apply when adding funds to accounts. Offer network use rules and other restrictions apply. See BoostMobile.com or in-store materials for details. Attention structured settlement recipients. Are you receiving future payments from a settled lawsuit? Do you receive annuity payments spread out over a long period of time? If you are receiving a structured settlement and want a lump sum payment, call CBC Settlement Funding now. If you qualify, you could be eligible for an immediate $1,000 fast track advance. Get cash today to pay off credit card debt, buy a car, start a business, or make home improvements. Stop waiting for your money. Receive all or just a portion of your settlement today. Structured settlements are designed to spread out payments over 10 or 20 years. If you are receiving a structured settlement paid out over time, call to receive your personalized options and be sure to ask about a $1,000 fast track advance. Get the money you deserve today. Call CBC Settlement Funding now to discuss your free no obligation quote at 1 800 648 4504. 1 800 648 4504. Again, that's 1 800 648 4504. Did you know home appliance and major system breakdowns cost homeowners an average of $1,700 per year in repairs and replacements? American Residential Warranty can help cover those costs with home service plans starting at less than a dollar a day. Plan options include coverage for central air, heat, and duct work. Interior electrical systems and plumbing. Major kitchen appliances. Water heaters. Washers and dryers. Garage door openers. Ceiling fans and more. Even pools and spas. American Residential Warranty replaced my dishwasher with a brand new one, and I only paid a small service fee. I woke up on a Saturday morning, and there was no hot water in the shower. So I called American Residential Warranty. They sent a repairman to fix the problem the same day. Call now. There's no obligation. But hurry, if you wait until you need a home service repair, it'll be too late. Call now to get your home warranty. 1-800-969-0885. That's 1-800-969-0885. Attention. The FDA has associated Depakote and Paxil with serious birth defects. If you took one of these drugs while pregnant and your child was born with a birth defect, the manufacturer may be to blame. If you took Depakote or Paxil and your child was born with anal atresia, cleft palate, club foot, cranial defects, heart defects, gastroschisis, omphalocele, PPHN, spina bifida, or other limb defect, call the Rely On Group. You and your child may be entitled to a significant cash award. Call the Rely On Group right now and you'll be connected to an experienced attorney who will evaluate your case and determine if you may qualify for financial compensation. There is no risk on your part and you don't owe a penny unless we are successful. If you took Depakote or Paxil while pregnant and your child was born with a birth defect, call the Rely On Group at 800-219-6552. That's 800-219-6552. Attention patients who've been implanted with an IVC filter. If you or a loved one received an inferior vena cava filter and are now suffering complications, call the Reliant Group right now. You may be eligible for financial compensation. IVC filters are implanted into the inferior vena cava vein to prevent blood clots from traveling into the lungs, causing pulmonary embolisms. Unfortunately, these filters can fracture, move throughout the body, pierce blood vessels and organs, tilt, or become irretrievable. These failures can result in a number of serious injuries, including internal bleeding, organ damage, infection, and even death. If you were implanted with an IVC filter and were injured, you may be owed compensation from the manufacturer. Call the Rely On Group right now. You may be entitled to financial compensation for your pain and suffering. If you or a loved one has been implanted with an IVC filter and the device failed, call the Relyon Group at 800-219-2913. 
That's 800-219-2913. Yo, what up? This is Sand Dog from Cypress Hill. You're listening to me on IE Sportsnet. All day long, all day strong, you heard? And we're live, IE Sports Net, right here on Fox Sports Radio, 1350 AM. I am Coach B, and we are so happy. We have the lovely Miss Michelle Gardner sitting in for Eternal. When it comes to Inland Empire Sports, the conversation starts and stops right here. How are you doing this morning, Mrs. Gardner? I'm, I'm doing great. Excellent, excellent. We thank you so much for coming in. Mrs. Gardner, the, one, the best writer uh, from the Daily Bulletin. Can we say that? I'll take it. I'll take She'll it. take Thanks. it. And one of the best writers in the Inland Valley. And and also, I'm so excited. We have a friend of the show. Was on the show with us last year, Coach Esposito, Paloma Valley High School. How are you doing this morning, Coach? Uh, not too bad. Excellent, excellent. So, Coach, your team started off with a 2-2 two and two record. I know it's early, but what are your thoughts about this young season? Well, we have a lot of young kids. We started seven sophomores last night. So coming into the season, we knew our schedule was going to be pretty tough, and you're going to have to ha- ride the highs and the lows when you are introducing young kids. And um, But we have a good, talented group, and we're looking forward. This is all preparing us for the season, the, the main part of the season, of course. And speaking of that, you have Temecula Valley coming up next week. I know that's a, that's a, that's a fairly good team. Yeah. Uh, give us an idea of your thoughts of, of, of that game. What are your thoughts of, of that game and going into that game? What are you preparing for and what are your thoughts? Well, what I've seen from Temecula Valley so far is they're very balanced. They're able to run on you. They can throw on you. Uh, Coach May over there has done a phenomenal job turning the program around. They've got some confidence going, been scoring a lot of points. Uh, got a shutout last night against Hemet. And, uh, you know, we got our hands full, no doubt about it. But like I said, this whole preseason schedule is just getting us ready for league. Coach, you're in the Sun Belt League, and Heritage is the big dog. We've talked about them before. Yes. You said they're one of the bigger teams you're ever going to find. Yes. What about the league, and how do you expect it to shape shake out? Well, you know, it's always a uh, very competitive league, league, top to bottom. You know, uh, this year, started off last year with Paris actually doing much better, and they're going to be very competitive. They can put some points on the board. Uh, Temescal Canyon is always a physical team. And, uh, and then you got Lakeside, who's got a new coach as well, and they seem to be doing pretty well. And then there's, of course, Elsinore, us, and Heritage that for the last five years, you know, have pretty much been the three playoff teams. But I really think that every year uh, we're never sure who's going to get those final playoff spots. So as far as expectations, I've got to think you're in the mix for a playoff spot. I would like to think so, yes. And then, you know, it's funny. I'm, and then once again, we have Coach Esposito here on IE Sports, then on Fox Sports Radio, 1350 AM. You know, I want to ask you, let us know. Let's talk a little bit about your team, and let's talk about some of your players. Um, and, you know, over in, you know, because we cover uh, IE Sports Net, we're in the San Bernardino County a lot. But tell me, what, what are some of the players on your team, and, and actually out there in the myriad of or Temecula Valley, who are some of the players out there that we should be looking at on your team and keeping an eye on? You say you got a lot of a lot of young underclassmen. Yes, we have some young underclassmen, but we also have a pretty solid senior class, uh, led by DeMarco Pruitt, who is our running back, who is a three-year starter. Didn't get to play last night. He got hurt during practice, but he'll be back next week. Um, you know, he's doing a fantastic job. Has only fumbled one time in his high school career, and that wow. happened to be two weeks ago, on on a play where it just looked like he just dropped the ball. I mean, it's just amazing. But uh, our quarterback Chance Nolan is only a sophomore, but already throwing for over sixty percent, uh, doing a phenomenal job. Uh, Day Day Lewis uh, plays slot for us, can play tailback for us, also returns punts and kicks, plays corner for us phenomenal athlete this guy is he's off the charts so um you know we're excited about that but we also have about four or five other receivers that and any night they could be the guys there you go and you know i'm looking at your bio and it's funny because you said you you realized you weren't big enough to play uh college football well you know we're kind of similar because i I realized i wasn't good enough to play high school football so (laughs) so so we're kind of similar in that fact so i was an all-american uh bench warmer but that's not important but uh looking at you so you're a a native of of the bronx yes yes i i was born in manhattan lived in the bronx i was about 10 years old then we moved out here to california and uh, there's still a lot of the Bronx in me. I, I still haven't adjusted to the California lifestyle, uh-huh. and how to talk to people and be super nice <laughs> and all that. You know, football coaching kind of fits my 
my personality of how I was brought up. And, and once again, we have Coach Esposito here on IE Sports and on Fox Sports Radio, 1350 AM. And, you know, I've had that conversation with Michelle because Florida native. I am. Yeah, so so, but I'm a California native, born and raised. I can never leave this sunshine state. I, I absolutely love it. Um, and we were talking about, Coach, we were talking about some of the players on your team. Um, who were some of the players in league? So, so if you weren't a coach, if, if you didn't want to coach, who were some of the players in league that you say, hey, I'd buy a ticket to go out and see that kid play? Well, well, definitely uh, Heritage has a couple of those guys, and their quarterback over there, I'm uh, he's a three-year starter as well, and a uh, fantastic athlete. I think he's going to be going to Army. Uh, oh, wow. And, and he's smart. A, oh, yeah, which is a great fit. Uh, uh, Brett Virgil's his name, and, and I tell you what, I think he's one of the best quarterbacks around. He may not have the stature of some of the bigger names because he's not 6'4", six, 6'5", six, but this kid can do it all, and he's definitely a threat. And then, of course, they have Glover uh, over there, who's again in the line of fantastic running backs that Heritage has had over the years. You know, that's that's their game, and they they do it well. Um, you know, Elsinore has their running back. I think his last name is Reyes, who's going to fill in again with the fantastic group of running backs that Elsinore's had. Um, and then every team just has their guys that you know you see them play for a year or two. And uh, but those, to me, are the the two big guys that mm-hmm. we see. Coach, what game do you have? Did you have circled on the calendar the minute you had your schedule come out? I mean, I got to think it might might be the Heritage game then. You know, that one's always the game. Obviously, they've come into our league and they have not lost a league game since they've come into our league. Wow! So, uh, you know, it's not just us struggling to beat them. Nobody has, and they're they're definitely an elite powerhouse in the Inland Empire, and uh, they've done a fantastic job over the years. And now it's just. Up, up to all of us to find a way to knock them off. Absolutely. Once again, Coach Espo here on IE Sports Net on Fox Sports Radio, 1350 AM. I am Coach B, the one and only Michelle Gardner sitting in for Eternal. And, you know, I'm looking at, now let's, I'm looking at your bio. Let's dig into some stuff. So, it, it sounds like you, you've got a, a great family man. Uh, you, you married your wife, Kelly, and you have two incredible daughters. Yes. Uh, you know, we can talk football all the time. Give us, w- give us a dad story. What's, what's one of the things that made you the proudest because I have a daughter uh-huh. uh, give us something that, that's going to, and I love doing this to my daughter I love embarrassing my daughter is there anything that uh, any story you could say about the wife or the kids or anything that's just going to flat out embarrass the daughter I love doing that you know I, I don't think so both both of my daughters are pretty <laughs> uh, they're pretty smooth and cool and they don't do things uh, on a whim they don't they don't they don't embarrass them. There you go. There you go. <laughs> How old are they? Uh, my oldest is sixteen, going to be seventeen, yeah. and my youngest is fourteen. And and uh, you know, I think they've watched me embarrass myself. Right, enough right. To know what not to do. So. This is this is what I tell you, Coach. My daughter's fifteen, and she's a sophomore in high school. This is what I always do. I I always use their verbiage. I use their their <laughs> lingo. They they hate that. Yeah. Uh, like I'll, I'll say, oh, I tell my daughter, your clothes are fleekish, <laughs> and she just she she hates it. I'll say, you're my A one. From day one. It's oh things like gosh. that. That's what you got. Yes, yes. You go and you tell them that. Uh, and, and here's a story. Uh, I know we got to get out of here. We press against time. So my, my, my wife, she texted me last night. And, and my daughter was listening to uh, uh, the clean version, of course, of Easy e song. <laughs> and she looks at my wife and says, hey, have you ever heard this song? It's, <laughs> it's like, I mean, <laughs> of course so we have. True. Of course we have. You know, I remember, you know, not to get off sidetrack, I almost got beat by my mother for listening to some NWA stuff back in the, back in the, uh, in the 90s. Uh, but once again, Coach, we thank you so much for coming in. I know it's early for you to get out here all the way from the Temecula, Marietta Valley. Uh, good luck to you this thank season. You. you guys are 2-0 and so far. I know you guys got some. You're getting ready to go in the league in a couple of weeks. Um, so thank you so much coming in. Make this an annual thing. Second I, time coming here. Second I time coming you. here. Once again, Coach Esbo. Uh, es, es, Espido. Esposito. Esposito. See, I told you I was gonna I was gonna butcher that name up. Uh, Paloma Valley High School head coach, two and zero. Thank you so much for coming in. If you want to follow him on Twitter, follow him at Coach E S P O, um, and go ahead and follow him. Once again, you're listening to IE Sports Net with Coach B and the one and only Michelle Gardner sitting in for Eternal, and we are on Fox Sports Radio 1358. I like it. Greg Howler found some. I uh, hopefully that's some clean Easy E. That's that's for my daughter Brianna. Uh, Fox Sports Radio 1350 AM when it comes to Inland Empire Sports the conversation starts and stops right here we'll be right back it's all about making that GTA Los Angeles Lakers this is Xavier Henry from the LA Lakers you're listening to IE Sports Network 
Data knows you post selfies like they're going out of style. Data knows you've got no selfie control. Lucky for you, for just $35 a month, you can get unlimited talk, text, and more data than ever. So keep snapping and sharing. Boost Mobile cut the price and crank the data. So stop spending a ton of money on a little data and start getting more data for less. Come to Boost Mobile and come to data. Visit your nearest Boost Mobile store or boostmobile.com for details. $35 plan includes 1 gigabyte a month of high-speed data, video streaming limited to 3G speeds. After applicable data allotment reached, data speeds including video reduced to 2G speeds for remainder of plan cycle. International Services Extra. Offer and coverage not available everywhere and subject to change. State and local sales taxes slash fees may apply when adding funds to accounts. Offer network use rules and other restrictions apply. See BoostMobile.com or in-store materials for details. Attention structured settlement recipients. Are you receiving future payments from a settled lawsuit? Do you receive annuity payments spread out over a long period of time? If you are receiving a structured settlement and want a lump sum payment, call CBC Settlement Funding now. If you qualify, you could be eligible for an immediate $1,000 fast track advance. Get cash today to pay off credit card debt, buy a car, start a business, or make home improvements. Stop waiting for your money. Receive all or just a portion of your settlement today. Structured settlements are designed to spread out payments over 10 or 20 years. If you are receiving a structured settlement paid out over time, call to receive your personalized options and be sure to ask about a $1,000 fast track advance. Get the money you deserve today. Call CBC Settlement Funding now to discuss your free no obligation quote at 1-800-648-4504, 1-800-648-4504. Again, that's 1-800-648-4504. Did you know home appliance and major system breakdowns cost homeowners an average of $1,700 per year in repairs and replacements? American Residential Warranty can help cover those costs with home service plans starting at less than a dollar a day. Plan options include coverage for central air, heat, and duct work. Interior electrical systems and plumbing. Major kitchen appliances. Water heaters. Washers and dryers. Garage door openers. Ceiling fans and more. Even pools and spas. American Residential Warranty replaced my dishwasher with a brand new one, and I only paid a small service fee. I woke up on a Saturday morning, and there was no hot water in the shower. So I called American Residential Warranty. They sent a repairman to fix the problem the same day. Call cool now. There's no obligation. But hurry, if you wait until you need a home service repair, it'll be too late. Call now to get your home warranty. 1-800-969-0885. That's 1-800-969-0885. Attention. The FDA has associated Depakote and Paxil with serious birth defects. If you took one of these drugs while pregnant and your child was born with a birth defect, the manufacturer may be to blame. If you took Depakote or Paxil and your child was born with anal atresia, cleft palate, club foot, cranial defects, heart defects, gastroschisis, umphalocele, PPHN, spina bifida, or other limb defect, call the Rely On Group. You and your child may be entitled to a significant cash award. Call the Rely On Group right now and you'll be connected to an experienced attorney who will evaluate your case and determine if you may qualify for financial compensation. There is no risk on your part and you don't owe a penny unless we are successful. If you took Depakote or Paxil while pregnant and your child was born with a birth defect, call the Rely On Group at 800-219-6552. That's 800-219-6552. Attention patients who've been implanted with an IVC filter. If you or a loved one received an inferior vena cava filter and are now suffering complications, call the Reliant Group right now. You may be eligible for financial compensation. IVC filters are implanted into the inferior vena cava vein to prevent blood clots from traveling into the lungs, causing pulmonary embolisms. Unfortunately, these filters can fracture, move throughout the body, pierce blood vessels and organs, tilt, or become irretrievable. These failures can result in a number of serious injuries, including internal bleeding, organ damage, infection, and even death. If you were implanted with an IVC filter and were injured, you may be owed compensation from the manufacturer. Call the Rely On Group right now. You may be entitled to financial compensation for your pain and suffering. If you or a loved one has been implanted with an IVC filter and the device failed, call the Rely On Group at 800-219-2913. That's 800-219-2913. 
listening to iesportsnet.com, the Inland Empire Sports Authority. Once again, we are live here, IE Sports Net, right here on Fox Sports Radio, 1350 AM. This is Coach B with the one and only Miss Michelle Gardner from the Daily Bulletin sitting in. You know, when it comes to Inland Empire Sports, the conversation starts and stops right here. You know, uh, our guy Greg Holler found him. We, we, we had to do some researching and some digging, but calling in on the Boost Mobile Be Her Celebrity Hotline is the one and only Eternal. Are you out there, Eternal? Hey, yes, sir, man. I am, I am in the house, man. I am right here live on location, man. It's great to be here, man. And uh, you guys sound good. I know. I, I, I know. I know. But, uh, yeah. you know, I mean, <laughs> you, you love the Boost Mobile line so much. You're actually calling in on a Boost Mobile phone. Is that correct? Yeah, that is correct. Courtesy <laughs> of Boost Mobile. So there thank you, go. you so much. There you go. <laughs> so, so last night, I know, I know, Eternal, you're out there on location, and you and you, uh, you're pressed against time. You got to get in. And you, I, I'm so, I'm so glad you're gracious enough to call us in this morning. Uh, hey, man, yes, sir. Uh, you were supposed to call in like 20 minutes ago, but that's not important. But uh, so last night, I was—I—I—I I, I, I don't know if you slept in because it was hard to get up this morning. That game oh, last man. night. Uh, and how excited were you? You are a Riverside guy, a Riverside native. How excited were you about that game? Well, you know, I mean, even though, uh, uh, you know, we, we were at the opposing school, you know, Polly's there. We don't have a great relationship with Polly, so it's whatever. But, you know, what what a game for Riverside. What a game for the Inland Empire. If both teams came out. Uh, again, you know, the, the if you if you look at the newspaper, uh, they, they kind of put the King should have been running, you know, they should have just, Wipe the field with, with with King High School. I mean, excuse me, Polly. I mean, King should have wiped the field with with Polly. But however, Polly was really, really there. Got a first year coach out there, and you can see he had his guys motivated. They suffered some really, really uh, devastating losses. Had two kids. One kid broke his leg. Another kid had a very severe neck injury. However, they came out there and they were really, really excited to play, and it turned out to be a great game. Absolutely, absolutely, and you know, and you and I, you know, we debate this on the sideline, and 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 my thing is, you know, when when you coach, you take the points, and yes, and and Polly had a chance in overtime to kick the field goal and just get points on the board, and in, and they ended up losing by a field goal. So yeah. instead of taking the points, they kick the, I mean, they go for it, and, right. and you know, I, I just don't think that, that that's something they should have done. Well, which is why that's why they call you Coach B because you talked about exactly. that live, exactly. on, you know, on, you know, on, uh, right there when we were there. And you said, "Hey, they should have kicked it." And when they didn't kick that field goal, ironically, King goes down there. They they had a chance to punch the ball in at the goal line. They couldn't do it, and then they shanked the field goal. And as you mentioned, that would have been the field goal to actually make them win the game. So, exactly. So, so yeah, I mean, you know, in the larger scheme of things. He's not the first year coach. I'm sure that was something that kind of kept him up this morning. He's probably thinking about that right now, calling his coaching staff, screaming at everybody. But I'm certain he'll make the adjustment going forward. And I know what he's trying to do. Here's the thing. You're a coach. You're saying this is a rivalry game. We've got to punch this in and, and, and say, hey, this is our game. This is our thing. But at the end of the day, when you when you do that, it, you're saying, I don't trust my defense. I don't think my defense can go out there and stop them. And exactly. if, you, if you look at the game, and, and once again, this is Coach B and Eternal calling in, and we're on Fox Sports Radio 13. 50 a.m. I.E. Sports Net. Uh, when you look at the game, it was not a game that was a barn burner. Um, even no. if the score doesn't reflect it, there was not a lot of score. It was a great defensive game. I know the scoreboard doesn't reflect that, but it was a great defensive game. It really was. And, and you know, Polly showed a lot of resolve. They were down 21 nothing in the first half, made their way back, scored 28 unanswered points. Really, really a great game. And, again, it showed that, hey, those the Polly kids, because they lost a lot of kids. They lost right. Ross. Lost and we saw you, Achilles. Yes. You're talking about you, Achilles from USC. Yes, sir. Okay. You, okay. You, okay. I, okay. I know you wanted to put that yes, out there. The I, USC I, guy. I wasn't <laughs> sure. I wasn't sure. You, Achilles Ross is on the sidelines right, last right, year from Poly. Right. Uh, we saw yeah. him a week ago on the USC side. There we go. Thank you, Mr. Holler. I knew Greg exactly. would get that in for us. So fight on, fight on, baby. <laughs> exactly, exactly. But no, the, uh, um, you know, even uh, losing all those kids had a had a first year starter in there, quarterback. You know, uh, really a standout receiver with number six and number 80. Uh, really number six. I think he had three touchdowns by himself. I mean, really, they had some kids out there that there were some gamers. So, and again, like I said, they took some tough losses. So, they, you know, kudos to Polly. But again, King played a really good game and they deserved to win it. I agree. And I know you're pressed against time and you probably got to sneak on out. But uh, we appreciate you so much for calling in uh, to yes, the sir. IE Sports Net hotline here on Fox Sports Radio 1350 AM. Any final recaps you need to do? 
Hey, man, I just want to, man, give a big shout-out to Michelle Gardner, man. Thank you so much. She does a great thing for the for our eSports, man. Obviously, always to Greg Holly. He's holding it down. And to all our Fox Sports radio audience. Thank Absolutely. You. Absolutely. And that was the one and only uh, Eternal calling in on the Boost Mobile Be Her Celebrity Hotline. Now, Mrs. we have Mrs. Gardner. We were talking about this uh, off air. And, and Mrs. Gardner, I, I know you were talking about um, you were talking about uh, the Upland game. Right. So so give us some give us a little give us your take on that Upland game. And I know we got to call our kids from Corona. It looks like they're calling in. We'll get to them in just a second. No, Upland, uh, obviously when you're playing modern day, you can't afford to make mistakes. And uh, Upland didn't have a first down in the first quarter. Uh-huh. Uh, so they had a lot of trouble moving the ball. They were lucky to be down 15-7 to seven at the half. Uh-huh. Uh, and then in the in the third quarter, uh, modern day blew it open. And unfortunately for Upland, they had some very key injuries. And we'll see how those guys are later this week. But uh, they had some key injuries that moving forward could really hurt them. Absolutely. And then we, and we're pressed against time. Now, I just looked at that. So we have the Corona kids coming in the next segment. Michelle, we're going to uh, later on, are we going to talk some more San Bernardino County football? You got it. There you go. The one and only Michelle Gardner from the Daily Bulletin sitting here for Eternal. This is Coach B. You're listening to IE Sports Net on Fox Sports Radio 1350 AM. You know when the, the conversation starts and stops right here. And we'll be right back. This is the one and only Coach B and Eternal from IE Sports Net Hurt right here on Fox Sports Radio 1350 AM every Saturday morning at 8 AM. Now let's talk fantasy sports for a minute. FanDuel one week games are almost here. FanDuel is the leader in one week fantasy football with more winners and more payouts than any other site. They're paying over $75 million a week this season. Salary cap format. Pick any players you want for just one week. Entry fees are starting at just $1, and anyone, I mean anyone, can play. Man, that is a good hookup. Go to FanDuel.com, click on the microphone in the upper right-hand corner, use our code, IE Sportsnet, sign up now. Special offers for new users. For every dollar you deposit, FanDuel will match it up to 200 bucks, and that gets earned as you pay. That's a bonus of up to 200 bucks, and it's only good for the first 50 players. Go to IE Sportsnet in the upper right corner on FanDuel.com. FanDuel.com. That's F-A-N-D-U-E-A-L.com. Sign up today. Did you know home appliance and major system breakdowns cost homeowners an average of $1,700 per year in repairs and replacements? American Residential Warranty can help cover those costs with home service plans starting at less than a dollar a day. Plan options include coverage for central air, heat, and ductwork. Interior electrical systems and plumbing. Major kitchen appliances. Water heaters. Washers and dryers. Garage doors. Door openers, ceiling fans, and more. Even pools and spas. American Residential Warranty replaced my dishwasher with a brand new one, and I only paid a small service fee. I woke up on a Saturday morning, and there was no hot water in the shower. So I called American Residential Warranty. They sent a repairman to fix the problem the same day. Call now. There's no obligation. But hurry, if you wait until you need a home service repair, it'll be too late. Call now to get your home warranty. 1-800-969-0885. That's 1-800-969-0885. Attention patients who've been implanted with an IVC filter. If you or a loved one received an inferior vena cava filter and are now suffering complications, call the Reliant Group right now. You may be eligible for financial compensation. IVC filters are implanted into the inferior vena cava vein to prevent blood clots from traveling into the lungs, causing pulmonary embolisms. Unfortunately, these filters can fracture, move throughout the body, pierce blood vessels and organs, tilt, or become irretrievable. These failures can result in a number of serious injuries, including internal bleeding, organ damage, infection, and even death. If you were implanted with an IVC filter and were injured, you may be owed compensation from the manufacturer. Call the Reliant Group right now. You may be entitled to financial compensation for your pain and suffering. If you or a loved one has been implanted with an IVC filter and the device failed, call the Relyon Group at 800-219-2913. That's 800-219-2913. Attention, the FDA has associated Depakote and Paxil with serious birth defects. If you took one of these drugs while pregnant and your child was born with a birth defect, the manufacturer may be to blame. If you took Depakote or Paxil and your child was born with anal atresia, cleft palate, club foot, cranial defects, heart defects, gastroschisis, omphalocele, PPHN, 
spina bifida, or other limb defect, call the Rely On Group. You and your child may be entitled to a significant cash award. Call the Rely On Group right now and you'll be connected to an experienced attorney who will evaluate your case and determine if you may qualify for financial compensation. There is no risk on your part and you don't owe a penny unless we are successful. If you took Depakote or Paxil while pregnant and your child was born with a birth defect, call the Rely On Group at 800-219-6552. That's 800-219-6552. Warning, if you've been prescribed blood thinning medication, please pay attention. The popular blood thinning drugs, Pradaxa and Xarelto, have been linked to serious internal bleeding. If you or a loved one took Pradaxa or Xarelto and were hospitalized for internal bleeding, gastrointestinal bleeding, or brain hemorrhaging, or your loved one died, the manufacturers may be to blame. Call the Rely On Group right now to be connected with an experienced attorney for a free consultation and to see if you may qualify for substantial compensation and medical expenses. There is no risk on your part and you don't owe us a penny unless we're successful. If you or a loved one took one of these drugs and were injured, call the Rely On Group right now. Do not delay. There are time deadlines to file a claim. If you or a loved one suffered internal bleeding after taking Pradaxa or Xarelto, Call the Rely On Group at 800-226-1565 for a free consultation. That's 800-226-1565. Yo, what up? This is Send Dog from Cypress Hill. You're listening to me on IE Sportsnet all day long, all day strong. You heard? And this is the one and only IE Sportsnet right here on Fox Sports Radio, 1350 AM. I am Coach B, and sitting in for Eternal is the Miss Michelle Gardner. When it comes to Inland Empire Sports, you know the conversation starts and stops right here. I'm pretty excited. We have another caller calling into the Boost Mobile Be Heard Celebrity Hotline. Mr. Walker, are you there? Yes, sir. I'm right here. All right. Great, great. So we have Malik Walker the stud quarterback over there at, at the Corona Panthers. Malik, you, you got a couple of your boys with you, right? Um, I'm actually the running back at Corona. Say again? I, I'm actually the running back at Corona. The, what did I say? What did I say? You said quarterback. Yeah, quarterback. Oh, quarterback. I'm sorry. I, you know what? I, I, I get all into it. I'm sorry. I, you are the stud running back. My mistake. My mistake. Good, good catch. Good catch. That was a test. So you passed. So I, I appreciate that. <laughs> but go ahead and, and, and uh, Malik, let us know who all you have with you. I know you got some of your boys with you. I have uh, my starting slot, Nicholas Beccarata, and our uh, starting quarterback, Jake Sparks. There you go. Then, see, that's why I got sidetracked about the whole quarterback thing, man. But my bad. My I know you're the, store, the stud running back. We've been hitting each other, uh, each other up on Twitter for a couple of weeks now. Uh, I've been watching you guys. You, first, you were 1-0. You were 2-0. You were 3-0. and And now you guys are an impressive 4-0. and Give me, let me know, what, what are you guys' thoughts on this season and what you guys, the special things you guys are doing over there in Corona? Um, I feel like more this year that we are we're playing as a team and just looking to uh, complete our assignments every day, just do everything we're supposed to do instead of worrying about next week. We're trying to go one and zero every week, reset every week, and just do our jobs. That's good. I like that, man. I, I like the way you guys are talking. And th for this to be your first radio interview ever, man, you sound real smooth, man. So I, so I, so I like that. Um, and we were talking a little bit off air. Um, you, you And you know, you, you, you're playing Corona. You, you said you were on JV last year. You're, you played a little varsity this year. You know in Corona, uh, the first thing that people thought th think about, of course, is Centennial with the things that they're doing. And then you think of Santiago, the quarterback last year. Uh, Barnett is now at, at uh, Alabama. But do you feel – that you guys are starting to turn the tide, and people are starting to look at the Panthers now. I, I definitely feel like the, it's been changed, and um, I feel like this year we're really just showing people that we've been working hard all, all off season. All the, we're still working hard through this season, and we're just looking to uh, go as far as we can go. Yeah, Malik, last night you had a big win. You had a running clock. Do you like games like that, or would you rather have a game that's a little bit more competitive where you can kind of – get with the ebb and flow of the game and, and see how you're doing? Um, I, I really prefer uh, like a, a dog fight. That's what I want to have. I like to have a to scrap with the other team, all that, and just have to go to battle. Right, and that'll get you guys ready for your for your league play uh, in the Big Eight. Now, now I know we're gonna we're gonna ask another question. What I want to do is, do you guys? Where, where's our quarterback? Where, where's my quarterback? Right here, sir. There you go. 
Is that Mr. Sparks? Yes, sir. Excellent. Now, you know, in, in, in Corona, um, the, the, you know, we don't get a lot of pub on, on the Panthers. But let me give, give me your idea. What are your thoughts about this season? I mean, you're the quarterback. You're the guy uh, with the 4-0 and o team over at the Panthers. Well, my thoughts are, since we've been working hard all offseason, you know, we deserve to win. And uh, I feel like everything we've been doing this offseason has finally started to, like, show up on the field. And, you know, uh, it feels great. Excellent. And give me a thought. Give me and, – and, and where's my, my slot? Is my slot Nick there? Yeah. Well, uh, Nick, now, now you're, you're doing some great things out there in that slot, and you're putting up some numbers. Uh, look, give me your thoughts. And once again, this is IE Sports Channel on Fox Sports Radio, 1350 AM. We have the Corona Panthers, and this is all you guys' first radio interview, correct? Yes. There you go. My slot. My slot. Tell me, tell me your thoughts about this season. Um, like, like my quarterback, uh, Jake Sparks says, I think definitely we worked through the season and, um, we just have a lot of guys, dedicated guys just looking forward to uh, turning this, uh, turning the program around and I just, that's pretty much it. Nick, uh, is the slot, how long does it take you to get in a rhythm with your quarterback? Do you guys have to work a lot together, like even in the off season and conditioning to kind of get, get in the same flow and get kind of in sync with each other? Um, I think definitely yes. Uh, me and Jake have been here at Corona since ever since freshman year, so me and him just have that connection. And that's good stuff. So, so what what will it mean to you guys? I mean, I know you guys are going into the Big Eight, and I know that that's 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 one of, it's one of the toughest leagues, and 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 if not the state and the nation. Uh, what are you guys thinking about going into the season? I I don't want you guys to get your heads too big, but four and zero is impressive. Um, is is this one of the best starts in 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 Corona Panthers history? I mean, what, what are you guys are you guys setting some records out there? Uh yes, sir. All right, I like that. Now let me get back to where my, where's Mr. Walker. Are you still there? Yes, sir. I'm right here. Okay, so you're only a junior, and you're leading the team in rushing. So you have I, I looked at your numbers. I, I I did my research. So you have 273 yards rushing in four games and seven rushing touchdowns. Now give me let me know who is your favorite running back and who's something you pattern your who is someone you pattern yourself after. Now the greatest running back ever, the correct answer is Walter Payton, but I'll let you go ahead and, and answer that. That was Ralph Walter Payton was actually <laughs> my favorite running back. That's what I'm talking about. That is what I'm talking about. And I, I know I've seen your dad on Twitter um, and he's proud man. So uh, did your dad did you guys talk about Walter Payton when you were a kid or, or you, you're still a young a young man. Is that something that he would show you Walter Payton uh, clips? Yeah, we actually used to watch this film all the time, and just I used to really like look up to him and try to style my running based off him just a little bit. That's what I'm, you know, I, I knew there was a reason I liked you. I, I knew there was an absolute reason. We're going to try to get out to a game this year and make sure we see you guys. We thank you guys. I know you got you're pressed on time. I know you got to get to uh, to practice. You, I appreciate you guys giving us a call in. I know you got to get practice now. I want to ask you guys uh, once again. We have Malik Walker. We have Jake Sparks, the quarterback, and Nick. Nick, I'll just say F because I don't want to mess up your last name uh, from the Corona Panthers. Uh, no bulletin board material, fellas. We got we got about thirty seconds. But what's a game on your schedule? schedule this season you guys are saying I can't wait for that game um I'm, I'm honestly really excited for our next game against Great Oak because I know this is going to be a test for us and it's going to really show what we what we need to improve on or whatever and we're I'm, we're going to come out with the W and that was Malik so what about Jake what about you uh, I feel like once we uh get into league you know we're gonna that's when everything is going to show up all our offseason work and since we've been working hard I feel like we're going to do good Okay, and where's my guy, my slot? Where's my slot? What, what about you, Nick? Uh, I'm definitely looking forward to the next game because it's definitely going to be a little better of a challenge for us and our team, and I just can't wait to see what we have. There you go. And you know what? I, I take my hats off. I'm going to have to get your head coach in here. He got, he's got he got you guys coached up. He got, he got you guys saying the right thing because I'll tell you right now, when I was in high school, when I was a senior, I couldn't make the freshman team. So if I was 4-0, I, I would be talking so much junk. But uh, I appreciate you guys calling in the Corona Panthers, their first radio interview ever. Thank you so much, gentlemen. Good luck on your season and have a good practice. All right, fellas? 
Thank you. All right, thank you. Uh, we're going to go ahead and step out to commercial. You're listening to IE Sports Net with Coach B, the one and only Miss Michelle Gardner from the Daily Bulletin is uh, sitting in for Eternal. When it comes to Inland Empire Sports, the conversation starts and stops right here on Fox Sports Radio 1350 AM. Rest in peace, easy. He rolled down his window and he started to say, it's all about making that GTA. Because the boys in the hood are always hard. You come talking that trash, we'll pull your car. What's up? This is TJ Ward from the Denver Broncos. You're now tuning to the Iron Sports Man. The Inland Empire Sports Authority. This is the one and only Coach B. And Eternal. From IE Sportsnet Hurt right here on Fox Sports Radio 1350 AM every Saturday morning at 8 AM. Now let's talk fantasy sports for a minute. FanDuel one-week games are almost here. FanDuel is the leader in one-week fantasy football with more winners and more payouts than any other site. They're paying over $75 million a week this season. Salary cap format. Pick any players you want for just one week. Entry fees are starting at just $1, and anyone, I mean anyone, can play. Man, that is a good hookup. Go to FanDuel.com, click on the microphone in the upper right-hand corner, use our code, IE Sportsnet, sign up now. Special offers for new users. For every dollar you deposit, FanDuel will match it up to 200 bucks, and that gets earned as you pay. That's a bonus of up to 200 bucks, and it's only good for the first 50 players. Go to IE Sportsnet in the upper right corner on FanDuel.com. Duel.com. That's F-A-N-D-U-E-A-L.com. Sign up today. Did you know home appliance and major system breakdowns cost homeowners an average of $1,700 per year in repairs and replacements? American Residential Warranty can help cover those costs with home service plans starting at less than a dollar a day. Plan options include coverage for central air, heat, and ductwork. Interior electrical systems and plumbing. Major kitchen appliances. Water heaters. Washers and dryers. Garage door openers, ceiling fans, and more. Even pools and spas. American Residential Warranty replaced my dishwasher with a brand new one, and I only paid a small service fee. I woke up on a Saturday morning, and there was no hot water in the shower. So I called American Residential Warranty. They sent a repairman to fix the problem the same day. Call now. There's no obligation. But hurry, if you wait until you need a home service repair, it'll be too late. Call now to get your home warranty. 1-800-969-0885. That's 1-800-969-0885. Attention patients who've been implanted with an IVC filter. If you or a loved one received an inferior vena cava filter and are now suffering complications, call the Reliant Group right now. You may be eligible for financial compensation. IVC filters are implanted into the inferior vena cava vein to prevent blood clots from traveling into the lungs, causing pulmonary embolisms. Unfortunately, these filters can fracture, move throughout the body, pierce blood vessels and organs, tilt, or become irretrievable. These failures can result in a number of serious injuries, including internal bleeding, organ damage, infection, and even death. If you were implanted with an IVC filter and were injured, you may be owed compensation from the manufacturer. Call the Relyon Group right now. You may be entitled to financial compensation for your pain and suffering. If you or a loved one has been implanted with an IVC filter and the device failed, call the Relyon Group at 800-219-2913. That's 800-219-2913. Attention, the FDA has associated Depakote and Paxil with serious birth defects. If you took one of these drugs while pregnant and your child was born with a birth defect, the manufacturer may be to blame. If you took Depakote or Paxil and your child was born with anal atresia, cleft palate, club foot, cranial defects, heart defects, gastroschisis, omphalocele, PPHN, spina bifida, or other limb defect, call the Relyon Group. You and your child may be entitled to a significant cash award. Call the Relyon Group right now and you'll be connected to an experienced attorney who will evaluate your case and determine if you may qualify for financial compensation. There is no risk on your part and you don't owe a penny unless we are successful. If you took Depakote or Paxil while pregnant and your child was born with a birth defect, call the Relyon Group at 800-219-6552. That's 800-219-6552. Warning, if you've been prescribed blood thinning medication, please pay attention. The popular blood thinning drugs Pradaxa and Xarelto have been linked to serious internal bleeding. If you or a loved one took Pradaxa or Xarelto and were hospitalized for internal bleeding, gastrointestinal bleeding, or brain hemorrhaging, or your loved one died, the manufacturers may be to blame. 
Call the Rely On Group right now to be connected with an experienced attorney for a free consultation and to see if you may qualify for substantial compensation and medical expenses. There is no risk on your part and you don't owe us a penny unless we're successful. If you or a loved one took one of these drugs and were injured, call the Rely On Group right now. Do not delay. There are time deadlines to file a claim. If you or a loved one suffered internal bleeding after taking Pradaxa or Xarelto, call the Rely On Group at 800-226-1565 for a free consultation. That's 800-226-1565. And we are in. This is the one and only IE Sports Net on Fox Sports Radio, 1350 AM. I am Coach B. And sitting in for the one and only internal is Michelle Gardner. You know, when it comes to Inland Empire Sports, the conversation starts and stops right here. Miss Michelle. I want to thank you so much for being patient with us and hanging in there with us. No problem. This is the segment that I know you've, you've uh, this is what, this is what we, we, we were uh, communicating last night about uh, when I was saying, hey, we need some information on this and we need some information on that. So now it's time. Let's go ahead and talk to Ms. Gardner. Uh, we were talking off air. Now, CBL. That is, is, is it me? Because when we had uh, Coach Pearson from Rialto, Rialto Carter, uh, we talked, they're like the forgotten league. I think so, too. But you've got a high-profile team like Rev, and uh-huh. you know what they did last year. Right, right. And, and the league hasn't been that competitive. You have, you've had Carter do very, very well lately. But then kind of after that, it's been everybody else. It's been kind of a one-dog, two-dog race. So, right. But I think that could change this year. And the interesting thing, I know you've covered you've covered San Bernardino sports for years. And we talked to, to this about Pierce. Isn't it funny how when you look at, like when you first got here, when you thought Rialto football, you thought Ike. And then when right, you thought exactly. Fontana football, you thought Faux High. Now it's Carter and it's Summer Ki- Summit Kaiser. And uh, isn't that something? It's just the splintering of talent. The more, uh-huh. the more schools you open in a certain city. Remember when Fontana was a one-horse town and you had Fontana and the right. whole town revolved around Fontana? Right, right. Now they've got five schools. When Daddy Brooke was there. Yeah, uh, right, right. So now you've got five schools. Your talent is a little bit splintered mm-hmm. and it's all over the place. Mm-hmm. And uh, I don't know that Fontana can ever be the high school that it was just right. because the talent is so diluted now and you're finding that in Rialto too as right, they right. get more schools right right and that's the same and, and it's funny you say that because I live in Fontana um, I've been in Fontana about 10 years but my daughter goes to Etiwanda which is because because we live in that part of the city, which is really really weird. But uh, on the on the CBL, I know that's one of the leagues that you that you cover. Who, who's your who's your who 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 can we say? Michelle Gardner says this is who's getting that league. You can't go against Rev. I, how uh-huh. can you ever pick against Rev? Right. Um, I think Carter has a very good team, but I think what's really going to work against them is not having a schedule that's tested them. They've played Rialto, mm-hmm. JW North and Los Osos. That's not getting a team ready to play Rev. And they play Rev in the first week of the CBL season. So right. I don't see how Carter can possibly be uh, tuned up, uh, fine-tuned, and ready to go to play a team the caliber of Rev right. when they literally haven't played a, a, a competitive game. And that's one thing I like about Michelle Gardner. Once again, this is IE Sports Net, Fox Sports Radio, 1350 AM. Michelle doesn't. She doesn't hold back. She will. You, you will tell people the truth. Uh, Michelle Gardner from the Daily Bulletin here sitting in. Uh, and speaking on on Rev, they had a tough schedule. I, I know they lost to uh, St. Bonaventure. Right. Um, so they and then they they beat uh, Rancho Verde last night. So Rev is playing that tough. Like I, I, look, one thing that Eternal I, I always say, they play like that centennial schedule. Where they just play these tough teams. Um, is that something you think that's that, that like when we talked about Colony? Is that something these teams have to do? They don't have to do it, but I, I talked to the Colony coach earlier this week, and he said that's the only way to raise the level of your program. Mm-hmm. You want to get that respect. You want to get your name out there. Mm-hmm. People want to play against the Centennials and the Bishop Amats and the Alamanis. That's the way you kind of raise the level of your program and the exposure of your program. So I think as long as you don't come out of the non-league schedule beat up and bruised right. with a lot of major injuries, then it's going to pay off. Right, right. And and that's true because because on the flip side we talked about off air we talked about like the Oak Hills they now they lost to Los Osos you said they lost to Etiwanda and I know they had another loss I think they're one in three now so it, it it's it's a it's a double edged sword don't you think but the the bottom line is winning a league title so right true if you haven't been tested and your team is cruising along and then you get to league play and you probably don't know what you've got you've got to be tested 
to mm-hmm. where your weaknesses can be exposed, then you work on those and you fix them before leave. Right, right. And and another thing we, we're talking about, and once again, this is IE Sportsnet, Fox Sports Radio, 1350 AM. We have the one and only Miss Michelle Gardner from The Sun sitting in with us, uh, Daily Bulletin Sun. Now, we're talking about leagues that are forgotten. The CBL, at least you still you still have Rev and you have Carter. Um, Carter's putting kids in, in D1 schools left and right. Now, the, the, the league that everyone seems to forget about, and I know you're very familiar, familiar with this league, is the Sun Kissed. Um, that's a two two pony show as well. Definitely, I, I don't know that anybody's going to come close to Kaiser or Summit. I think uh, I'd be very surprised if anybody else challenged either one of those two teams. Mm-hmm. Um, and and again, those teams I think need competition non league because really they're going to have one competitive game in league, mm-hmm. and that's the game against each other. So those teams needed to to be tested. Right, right. And and and, and I'll, I'll put you to the test on that one again. Who is Michelle Gardner's pick? To come out of that sun kissed. I'm taking Summit. You're taking Summit? I'm taking Summit. Uh, obviously, Kaiser's always there. They're, they've kind of been parentally the top dog. And, uh-huh. uh, Summit's kind of come a long way in a short time, but I'd I like Stephen Carr. He's a beast. He's right. an absolute man child. Stephen Carr is going to USC. Yes. Okay, okay. Uh, I, I am the definition of a homer. Okay. You know, uh, so uh, I digress. <laughs> so, you know, I was on before, and, and Stephen and uh, Mr. Sparks were here, but. Uh, I, I just like everything I see with Summit. I think that's a quality. Oh, there we go. We, if you want to talk more USC, we've got the music going, Miss Michelle. I, I am the definition of a USC homer. I digress. <laughs> so you were talking about Sparks? Yeah, no, between Sparks and then you got Damian Alloway. I right. Mean, what a quality play. And then another, another player people forget is Ronald Draper. Yes. He's a very good wide receiver, too. Right, right, right. And because he's got the other two, he might be overshadowed a little bit. But I love Ronald Draper. He's a great player. So I really like Summit. Right. Once again, you're listening to IE Sports and on Fox Sports Radio, 1350 AM. We have the Miss Michelle Gardner sitting in for Eternal from the Daily Bulletin in the Sun. And, you know, I'll, I'll ask this question because we saw we did the IE Sports Net 7-on-7 passing league, and Draper was just a stud out there. Um, I think my personal thought is, do you think that he gets the I, – I don't know if he plays the way he does because you think about it, you got to stop Carr. You've got to stop Alloway. And then you have Cade just back there throwing darts. Um, does he? Do you think he gets the, the love he does because he plays on that team? Or could he go be a stud at, at uh, I don't know, A.B. Miller? I think he could be a stud anywhere because I, I like his game. But you also benefit when you've got defenses that are keying on Carr and Alloway. Right. Now you've got a little bit more of an opening to, to maybe maybe you're going to have single coverage. Um, so I think he probably benefits there too, but I like his game. Right, right. And I, I personally, I told, I told, I'll totally turn this. I think Summon is one of the best teams in San Bernardino County, hands down. Um, and we talked about Rancho Cucamonga. Uh, give us a little something we have. We, we have about two minutes to go, but give me a little something about that game. The Cougars needed a feel-good win last night. They really <laughs> did. Um, I wasn't impressed with them last week against Don Lugo. I thought they played, I think I called it uninspired and undisciplined. Uh-huh. Very uncharacteristic of a Rancho Cucamonga Nick Baez team. Uh, I was very disappointed in them last week. So they kind of needed a good game to get better and you know, Aunt Manning, Manning scores at the last second, and they win the game over a very, very good team. And I think that game's going to go a long way towards getting them back to the Rancho Cucamonga we think they can be. Right. Are they, are they still number one in your poll, or is it Upland number one in your poll uh, now? Well, Upland was number one last week, but I've got a decision to make since Upland lost and Rancho won. So we'll yeah. to be determined on that one. That's going to be a big game when they play. Do you know what day they play Upland and Rancho? Last week of the season. That's going to be a huge Huge game. So, Miss Michelle Gardner, we thank you so much for coming in. Uh, once a month, Eternal is always out on location, so we've got to make this a monthly thing. We'll still have you calling in, but we love having you in studio and having you here with us. Um, anytime, can you do that? Anytime. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. The one and only Miss Michelle Gardner from the Daily Bulletin Sun coming into IE Sports Net. Um, we're going to go ahead and step out of here. I got Greg Howler telling me it's time to go, and I don't want Greg to holler at me. So thank you so much for listening to IE Sports Net with Coach B. Sitting in for Eternal was Miss Michelle Gardner. When it comes to Inland Empire Sports, the conversation starts and stops here on Fox Sports Radio 1350 AM. We'll be back next week. To rock that body before I left. I hit the buck party. Went to a house to get her out of the pad. Dumb girl said something that made me mad. She said something that I couldn't believe. So I grabbed a stupid girl by a basket weed. She started talking trash. Yo, what up? This is Sand Dog from Cypress Hill. You're listening to me on IE Sportsnet all day long, all day strong. You heard?